Hi, right, good morning. Um, I haven't really filmed much for a few days because I haven't been feeling well. And normally, I put that down to after effects of my stroke, but um, this is something else. Uh, I've been in touch with the doctor, and this is the doctor's surgery here. Um, so I just came down to get some test bottles for the, my pee sample. Um, suspected either an infection in my waterworks but more likely something to do with my prostate so uh, we shall see uh, I've been feeling really rough so I haven't done anything so I haven't done anything to film because I've literally been lying in bed for three days but uh, anyway I thought I'd let you know so I've got something to uh, to, to tell you uh, I haven't had a text to fetch my uh, Chang beer yet, but I won't be in any rush to drink any of that at the time being. Anyway, so that's about it. I'm now going to go home and chill out again. Right, the rain finally stopped. I brought Joe out to the forest. Um, she's going to pick mushrooms if she can. Um, I'm still feeling like a bag of you know what, so I should be going home and just chilling out. I am going to try and get a video out later today uh, if I can uh, get through editing it without too much discomfort. So that's about all that's going on at the minute, but. Um, yeah, this forest has been cut quite a bit um, on the other side, we, we noticed, which is a shame, but that's the way of the world here. Right, another day has passed. Um, I am going to go to the doctor now, finally, after three days of um, waiting. Um, I got the bottles the other day and... Um, Anyway, I filled them this morning and I did manage to get a time uh, eventually today. So I'm going to go to the doctors in uh, in about 45 minutes to an hour from now. But I have had my uh, SMS, my text message from Sistine Bulagit, which is the alcohol shop, to say that my Chang has arrived. So I'm going to go and get that and I'll show you that on the way. And um, I'm not sure I should be going to get beer on the way to the doctors, but um, I won't be drinking them today anyway. But um, yeah, that'll put that little story to bed anyway. Anyway, I've got to get on. need to get a shower before I go to the dog. Right, haven't been to fetch my beer yet. I'm just running a bit late and uh, I need to be on time. Hard enough getting a, an appointment as it is without being late. So um, I've got to go and leave my uh, samples in the lab first and then into the doctor for some uh, unpleasant examinations and then we shall see anyway I shall uh, get back to you when I come out alright well just like that although it's like an hour later now um, yeah had a few blood tests I've done some tests in my urine I've been examined I didn't have the dreaded finger up the arse, um, prostate, got some of these or whatever, uh, I didn't have the prostate examination up the, up the jacksy, um, but they have sent off, uh, blood for a prostate test that goes away to a laboratory, so, um, he's sent off for two tests, and, um, for various things, and, uh, he will get back to me when he has the answer. What I do have is an acute cystitis. So, uh, yeah, just a waterworks infection. Hopefully that's all. I've got some uh, antibiotic. And hopefully I'll start feeling better soon once I start taking them. Anyway, that's about it. Hopefully the tests will come back okay. And we'll be back to just the normal and not feeling well. Anyway, going to get on. Just following this car, and the green uh, sign 
indicates that she's a learner driver. And um, I see that she hasn't got a door mirror out, folded out. I don't know how she can possibly learn to drive without using her mirrors. Anyway, enough of learner drivers. I'm at the sustainable target now. I'm going to go and tickle and fetch my order. I don't expect they will be all that keen on me filming in it, so uh, I shall have to um, be a little bit discreet. Right, there you go. If I'd have um, bought six bottles of beer in the shop, I'd have had to buy a carrier bag or take my own bag, but I get a nice little box. And inside, Chang Classic Beer. So there you go. That's how you get Thai beer here in Sweden. Right, I've got to go to the pharmacy and then I'm going home. Okay, good morning. Um, feeling a bit better today. Not wonderful, but getting a little bit, a bit brighter. I um, haven't had any results back about my prostate, but um, other things were good. And I've taken my medicine last night and today, so uh, we're getting somewhere. Anyway, I am in the forest with Jao, and uh, she's shouting at me now. I just came and I decided I would have a little bit of a, a walk here and show you what we do when we pick mushrooms. I do go sometimes with her, but not so much nowadays. Anyway, let's have a look. All right, this is a, a bit of a rare mushroom, that one. It's not one that we normally pick to sell, but we did have a, somebody who wanted them, so Jao's picked it because she's going to probably try and eat it. But And this is the yellow cantarelle mushroom. <laughs> Yeah. All they all count, only one, but they all count. Right, we're going this way. I've got to watch my feet because I stumble very easily. <clears throat> but it is nice to get out in the forest and have a walk. Normally, I like to go in the and walk just on the path, but um, you know, you can't walk on the paths and pick mushrooms, so you've got to get off the beaten track. There you go, Chantal, Chantal, and uh, what are you yeah, 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 man. Hear the birds screeching in the wagon. Um, There's yeah, another one. Remember. There's another one. Oh. Get up, Lord. Man, it's going to be under it. So, staying in. I've just spotted this bunch, one, two, three, quite a few under there. So I shouted, we joke amongst ourselves, we usually watch Thai mushroom picking videos and uh, they shout to each other, me, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I shouted, me, me, me. Here is a, a white mushroom, this one. That one is uh, deadly poisonous. So um, there are quite a few deadly poisonous ones here. Um, so you need to know what you're looking for, of course. There are several thousand mushrooms in Sweden, of which only about a hundred are edible. And of them, of those, only about 30 probably are You'd want to eat, if that's, if you could say it that way. I mean that, you know, some of the edible ones are not very nice, so you wouldn't want to eat them. But, um, yeah, there are a lot of inedible ones and some quite nasty ones. But, uh, yeah, it's just showing me another sort of mushroom here that, um, 
These ones, um, the old tree stumps, the uh, pine tree stumps, they grow out from them. And Jar's uh, friend and Jar's brother, they like these. So, uh, they're apparently very nice. I don't like mushrooms to be honest, but anyway. And they can don't come at Looking, looking. Nice. There's another little bunch of cantal, cantal, ni 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 ni. It's rather windy today, and it's a cold wind as well. Hope it doesn't disturb too much. Right, well, we've parted ways because I couldn't, uh, I just couldn't keep up, and uh, there was some really, uh, some really difficult terrain for me. So uh, I'm going to carry on back around this way and uh, I will show you what I find as well obviously um, if I see anything I will pick them if I don't I won't <laughs> but uh, hopefully giving you a little idea of um, how it is on the mushroom picking front picking blueberries is a lot different we you know this sort of like forests where there's blueberry patch you don't have to go wandering for miles and miles uh, you basically pick within a an area that you're at on the blueberry patch and um, the jobs are good but uh, the mushrooms involves a lot of a lot of mileage under your feet, Jao can walk. I mean, I've seen Jao's um, step counter be at 30,000 steps after a, <laughs> a mushroom picking session. So uh, you can imagine that's uh, a fair bit of walking. Um, one thing you do need to be very aware of here, and especially me now, um, and I'll tell you why in a minute, um, one thing you need to be aware of here, in this area, there is an awful lot of ticks and um, you can get very sick from the ticks and why I say I especially need to uh, be wary of that is because I am neither vaccinated nor immune. Jiao has been very sick with it, she had a, a it's called TBE tick-borne encephalitis, um, a swelling of the uh, brain membrane, was very sick back in 2017 and still suffers from that now. It often leaves you with uh, long-term fatigue and uh, other cognitive problems and she still feels the effects of that but it's a virus that you have once and you are immune. So uh, it's good to go on that one. You can still get Borrelia or Lyme's disease, I think it's called in English, I'm not quite sure, but um, the one that you can treat with antibiotics, I mean. Um, but that is a different kettle of fish. Um, most people are very concerned about the one that Joe had, the, um, the TB, the tick-borne encephalitis, which is, uh, as I said, it's a nasty old thing. And obviously having re already having a brain damage from having a stroke, two uh, bleeds in my head, I don't really need to get inflammation in my brain. But, so you have to be very careful and make sure you 
you uh, brush yourself off completely and are adequately clothed uh, in a way that they can't sneak up your trouser legs or sneak up your back of your t-shirt or whatever they tend to be very very small before they've gouged and gorged or whatever they say and eaten your blood so they're very hard to see not much bigger than a pinprick if i do see one on me somewhere i will show you it but anyway we progress now i'm not looking at mushrooms at the minute but i should be i'll have a look down there i think all right just spotted a group of chanterelles here there's a big one there uh, so those i will definitely be picking And here's a couple more biggins. Seems to be uh, seems to be quite a few around this spot. So uh, fortunately, I didn't bring a bucket with me. I was just going to follow Joe, so uh, I might have to go back to the car and uh, come back and do my own little bit of picking. Yeah, good stuff, I uh, Just picked a few there. Like I said, I didn't take a. Uh, a bucket or a bag or anything so, or a knife for that matter but you don't necessarily need a knife although a knife is better um, but you do need something to carry them in but I mentioned um, a couple of times at least about them cutting down forest and uh, how it's a bit annoying when you've got a a nice mushroom forest or whatever but I've noticed there's an awful lot of cutting down forest at the minute and um, now I know the reason why. And sadly, we in this area have been hit by a bit of a plague and it's a, uh, a small insect called, in Swedish it's called Granbarksborren and uh, I will, I'm not sure what it's called at this minute when I'm filming but I will um, put a photo and a name up on the screen if I can find it. Um, and basically these fly come in in swarms, attack pine trees, gran, as they're called in Swedish, and basically bore their way in under the bark and they just kill the tree. And uh, the area has been absolutely hammered with them, real, a real plague. And there's a lot of forest just died. So obviously forestry management, there's a lot of investment and what have you, time and energy and effort it's a big industry here um you know they need to um do something about obviously do something about the um the problem but also clear out the trees try and uh, salvage what they can and so on so yeah it is a uh, a shame but uh, it's caused some real real damage just down there i just noticed I don't know if you can see, I can't zoom in any further. There are two uh, chanterelle mushrooms on the top of that little mossy knoll there in the middle. Right, so I'm back from uh, from the forest and a little bit of mushroom picking. I was uh, pretty tired after that, but uh, it was nice to get out and uh, show you a little bit of what, what that side of things is all about. So if you've got any comments or anything about uh, mushroom picking or blueberry picking or foraging in general, here in Sweden, just drop us a comment down in the, in the below, and I will answer your comment as best I can. Um, yeah, there you go. Okay, back in the forest, different forest. Um, come to pick Joe up, so uh, this is a bit of a way down here. So I'm uh, I'm walking down there to uh, help carry what. She's got buckets of blueberries, I think. <clears throat> yeah. Not feeling great. Feeling okay, actually. And in terms of uh, physically, uh, still, still not right after the recent things. But fortunately, I just had a call from the doctor 
which has uh, given me cause for concern about my blood tests. So I'm going to have to go back tomorrow and I'm being referred further on. I'm not going to go into any speculation at this minute, but um, obviously it's concerning. So um, I will maybe seem as bright and as, and as jolly as I normally am. Anyway, I, uh, I'm going to go and find my wife now.